listening to NOAA Weather Radio, KXI 41, serving the north and northwest suburbs, including Woodstock, Libertyville, and Elgin. The current time is 11.10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Well, you always find the latest courtyard and in solution in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of the most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Midland Model HH54VP. It's a portable emergency weather alert radio. Here it is, game blister packed. Got some bullet points on there. All hazard weather alerts. Weather scan feature, same technology. Alarm clock with snooze. There's the radio, an AC adapter. Let's see the other thing here, monitors for these alerts and more. Tornadoes, hurricanes, civil emergencies, toxic warnings, ooh, thunderstorms, and 47 other hazards. Okay, cool. Let's go flip this over. On the back here, it's got more bullet points. Uh, early warning is your best protection, yeah. Uh, package includes AC adapter, bell clip, owner's manual, okay, blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead and open this up, see what we get inside. So you already cut that open, so I'll pull the radio out. Set that aside. I think we got an AC adapter here. Let's just grab that. And that's the blister pack. Toss it aside there. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom on down and show what we get. So the AC adapter is a 9 volt variety, 300 milliamp hour. So this hooks up to the radio. There's a spot for it, which is nice. And this is what you do when you're at home and you don't want to use the batteries. So you plug this in, you plug this in the radio, and you can run the radio 24-7 with this setup. I really like this. I think that's really neat. The only thing it doesn't do is charge the internal batteries. Uh, you need a different model for that, and I'll show you that. But this is nice to have. I'm glad they include this. Uh, very cool. Okay, next uh, they give us like a little catalog. Dude smiling. Yeah, he's skiing, dude. All right, product guide. Um, we'll just quick flick it open here, and you can see they got different radio stuff, accessories for their two-way radios. And I think back here we got some weather radio stuff. Okay, so there's the HH54VP, which we're doing right now. Um, you can see the little bullet points there. Now they have the same radio uh, with VP2, and what you get there is you get a rechargeable battery pack and the cradle charger. Now I have this radio also, but uh, it's simple, I'm not really featuring it because these are the same things, and you can actually buy this battery pack and it fits in this radio, and you can use this cradle with this radio too, which is really nice. So there you go, I got some other emergency radios. There's the HH50, which I plan on getting one of those. Pretty simple with no display, just audio only. Pretty much all you really need is to hear what's going on. Um, then you got some uh, clock uh, desktop style weather alert radios, which I have, which we'll review too in the future. So there you go. Okay, so let's toss that as uh, there. Next we have the manual, HH54 owner's manual. Let's go ahead and open this up. So good, good information in this one. Take your time. It's a very basic radio. They have a quick start instructions right there. Pretty much gets you going and operating right away. Um, they got a little readout of what everything does. They got a tricolor alert LED that's nice. They got a really cool uh, LCD display that has a alphanumeric readout for your warnings. Uh, pretty neat, I like that too. Awesome. Set the clock, set the alarm, uh, set the channel. We'll talk about all that stuff. It's in the menu. So uh, we'll talk about the same codes and FIPS and tell you what all that means. And we have travel and home mode, which is actually pretty interesting. We'll also, also talk about that. Choosing alert types, reviewing alerts. So yeah, you can you can have up to 10 uh, stored alerts at any given time. So if you have multiple alerts coming in, um, they save. So you can scroll through them and see what's happening. If you have a flood warning at the same time you have a thunderstorm warning, it's kind of nice that it tells you what's happening. Display backlighting, reception. This display backlighting is nice. You can have it where it's on all the time. Uh, when you have it plugged in, that's probably a good, good way to do it. So there you are. And then troubleshooting, pretty basic setup. Okay, so that's the instructions. 
Let's get to the radio. Here is the radio. So we're going to bring this up a little bit so we can do dimensions on it. All right. So dimensions the radio. You have three inches across, four and a half inches high here, and seven inches high with the antenna. And then the thickness of this radio is inch and a half, and then with the bell clip is two inches. So give you an idea there. Size comparison. I brought out my unit in Bearcat scanner to give you an idea for size. It's a pretty pretty big radio. It's got that big display. Okay. And I have my CC pocket, which is also a weather alert radio. It just doesn't scroll out the text and it doesn't have as loud as an alarm. The alarm on this thing is amazing. Um, so, but this is a, a basic weather alert radio plus your AM FM. That gives you an idea for size. Comparison. Okay. And then we have a deck of cards. A little Iron Man action to give you an idea how that looks. All right. So let's go over to features and show you how this works. Screw this down. All right. So right away, let's see on the left-hand side, you'll see a little jacket. It says speaker, so you can use headphones with this or an external speaker, which is nice. And a DC input of nine volts. That's where that AC adapter plugs in. So it's kind of like a weather resistant cover there. Um, this whole side is rubber. So this is rubber, like a solid rubber. This isn't like just a coating. Uh, feels like it's pretty durable. If you dropped it, it would help protect the case. It goes all the way around the radio, so you know that. Uh, front of the radio, we have a little indicator right here. This is your LED alert. It's pretty bright. It has three different colors. Uh, red for warning, orange for watches, and yellow for advisory. Midland name. We have that large LCD panel. As you can see, there's options there, which will light up for different things going on on the top bar. Uh, here we have NOAA, public alert. We have three buttons here. This is your travel and home mode button. We have a select button for the menu and then the menu button to access the menu. Here we have a directional keys. This is to check your messages. And yeah, my cat has been here. I had to chase her off the table today. <laughs> um, you go up and down for your uh, your emergency uh, to check your notices. And of course, to select uh, the items in the menu. Down here we have a speaker, which is one and a quarter inches. I pretty much figured out it's a pretty small speaker. It's not wonderful audio, but hey, you're listening to weather alert and it's usually like a robotic type voice, you know, going over and over. So <laughs> you don't need much. It sounds okay. Uh, the antenna is fairly small. This antenna length is about two and five eighths of an inch, uh, but does a good job picking up my local station. It doesn't do a great job on DX, so you're not going to pick up those farther stations with it. Top of the radio, you have two buttons on off. And you have your weather mode and snooze. So nice thing about having it on off is uh, if you turn it on, it's always scanning and waiting for an alert. You use power when you have the, when you have it on the on mode. Uh, so to conserve power, if there's no imminent danger or storms coming, just turn it off if you're running on batteries. It'll save them. Because I know with mine, with this, I let the batteries uh, go dead after three days of having it on. So it's about the runtime I got on three rechargeables. Okay. Let's see what else we got. We got volume control up and down here. Very simple. More of that rubber that told you it wraps around. Carry strap attached. Back we have the bell clip. Nice and strong. Here's a really cool battery door. If you look, there's terminals here. Um, that's for the cradle. You put your rechargeable battery in there that they sell, and then you get that cradle and you can drop it in the cradle and have it charging all the time. But this is opens up here. Let me show you. So let me try to remember how this opens up here. See, I think it's pretty tight there. Let me just see if I can get on camera to open this up here. Yeah, it's pretty tight. I was wondering, I didn't want to open it the wrong way. So here under the bell clip, you'll see I got three AA batteries in there. Got some end loops. And there's a gasket that actually runs along that edge there to help keep that battery compartment watertight. So that's a really good feature to have. Let's see if I can get this back closed. Yeah, it's pretty tight set up. All right. So that is the batteries. And you can see you got the bell clip. This is removable. Uh, just a serial number behind there. Nothing too crazy. It does have a nice wide bottom, so it does stand, which is what you want for weather alert radio. I would want it to stand. So, all right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. So right now you can see the clock is 9, 12 a.m. Set that. We're going to turn the radio on. It puts it into alert mode right away when the radio is on. This tells you you're in alert mode, NOAA. This little symbol there is like a little uh, voice. So that's the mode alert type, and we'll show you those in a second. HM means I'm in the home mode. There's our clock. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hit the menu button. 
Now in the menu, you can see you can set the time, you can set the alarm, channel. Now channel is you can select miles an hour, gusting to 28. The wind to a zero. You select the, the loudest station. This isn't too bad. It's actually picking up about three, four stations. So I pick the strongest and then select it. So that's the one that'll default to when uh, you get a warning. Um, so you tell you're in the menu mode. So we're going to go ahead and see what else we have here. We have uh, same setting. So the same setting, same means specific area message encoding. And what that means is that uh, the National Weather Service um, uh, and the uh, federal government, uh, they have issued uh, codes called FIP codes and it's called Federal Information Processing System for your counties. And there are six digit codes for, for uh, county. So they're assigned these six digit codes. And it's nice because you can actually set uh, counties like to the south of you, to the west of you, to the north of you, whichever way bad uh, weather comes through, um, you could have the county, those counties set on this radio. And you can have up to nine counties on here, which is pretty amazing. You typically don't need that many, um, but uh, some people like to have like surrounding counties and that's it. They don't want to have, you know, a distance stay like if they were getting a distance station, they would they don't want that to come through on their alarm. So uh but you can set that. So what you do here is you hit select any means any type of warning coming through from any county, which is what most people leave it on. Uh single, if you have a single county, I haven't seen anybody really do that. And then there's your multiple. So you can add multiple FIPS codes in, uh multiple county codes. And that'll get you your warnings in those specific counties, which is handy because I actually want to know what's going on to the county west of me and the south of me and the north of me because I got storms that come in all those directions. So I can put those codes in. I haven't done it yet with this radio. So I leave it on any until I can get time to do that. That's what I recommend you do too. Select to lock that in. Um, alert type, select. You have voice, you have display, and you have tone. So what that means is Voice will sound an alarm for eight seconds and play the uh, weather broadcast after that. Display will just show a display of the warning coming across with the light uh, being activated. So no sound, uh, which I don't recommend unless uh, you were looking at the radio and you didn't want the alarm to go off. Uh, and then uh, you have your tone, which this thing just will fire a siren for five minutes. And it'll definitely wake you up and then you can hit the radio and find out what's going on. Um, so, but most people you usually use the voice because that eight seconds of alarm usually gets your attention and then it starts playing automatically. So we'll leave it on that. Okay, alert type we just did. So alert test, you can test it. It's kind of loud. Okay, so that's what it sounds like. It gets pretty loud. There's no way to control the volume on that one. Uh, beep setting, yeah, it's just the beeps. You can set... Uh, the turn, turn on the beep. It's kind of annoying, so I just turn that off. Uh, let's see. Let's go. What else we got? We got lights. The light I told you about, you can go backlight normal, so it goes on for, I think, was it five seconds, five or ten seconds? And then you have, yeah, it's five seconds. And then you have light continuously. Um, if you do uh, continuous, let me show you that. There's backlight on, so it'll never turn off. That's if you have the AC adapter plugged in. If you did, didn't, you'd run the battery dead, so... Let's uh, change it back to normal, okay, and back to time setting. So pretty basic stuff there, okay. All right, so yeah, there's your, I mean, that's pretty cool being able to lock in uh, what county, you know, where the storms come from, that, that same setting. I love it. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So right now, if you notice, we're in menu mode, so we're just going to hit menu to exit that. So we're active uh, alert, so it means if anything comes in, it automatically trigger this radio with a tone. Uh, eight second alarm and then uh, the radio will start playing. HM means I'm at home. So those, those uh, codes I put in for my counties um, will be at, when I'm at home. Now, if I'm traveling, um, I won't know kind of where I'm going. I won't know what county codes to put in. So what you do is you hold the travel mode down, this travel home button, and then it'll change to TR. And you notice it said search, and it searched out a, a station that it could sit on. And as you drive or ride or whatever you're doing, uh, traveling, it'll automatically change and keep searching. If it loses connection to that station, it'll find a new station. So it, it keeps tracking um, the NOAA stations as you drive or travel. Uh, really handy. Love that feature. And then when you come back home, you hit your home button, 
and then it knows the channel you had saved, your settings, and it also knows your uh, your county codes. It saves all that. So interesting little thing there. All right, and then of course we can listen to weather right now. So we hit the top button. It's going to play the channel I picked. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. Thursday and Friday, limited excessive cold risk. Saturday, limited excessive cold risk. Limited snow risk. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation will not be necessary through tonight. So there you go. That is the Midland. HH54VP. Let me go turn this off. Um, we'll do final thoughts on this radio. Um, it's actually a really decent weather radio. A lot of people will say, hey, there's no AM or FM. But uh, to be honest with you, you really don't need that in a merch situation. This is actually what I'd want to know. The weather, you know, it's, I don't need to know what's going on AM or FM. They're actually going to tell you what you need to do, where you need to go, take shelter. You know, uh, they'll give you other information as you need it. Um, it's not a bad thing to have, um, especially the alert tone being so loud. Uh, I do like that. I do like the way it's like water resistant. It's uh, big enough where you're not going to lose it. Uh, it's also a nice thing. Uh, so it is handy, and it's fairly in, uh, inexpensive radio. Uh, you can find these. I think Amazon still sells them. If they do, I'll put a link down below for you guys. Um, I picked mine up on eBay pretty cheap. Or I think it was like around 20 bucks, right around there. So it's not too bad of a radio price-wise for portability. And, uh, yeah, it's not too bad reception-wise. I thought it would be a little weaker, but with this antenna, I didn't think I was going to pick up much, but I actually picked up three stations, so that was good. Um, so, yeah, there you go. The Midland HH54VP and the VP2 model, which is the cradle with the battery, um, that, those, I think, are around 35 bucks. It uh, might be worth it if, you, if you're uh, using this quite a bit on the run. But if you're at home and you want something small and simple, keep your batteries in there and then hook it up to the AC power, and when the alerts come through, you can always yank the plug and, Pull it, you know, take this wherever you got to go in the basement. You still have your weather radio. Alrighty, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed the presentation of the Midland HH54VP. If you did, please give me a big like. I appreciate it. Uh, two, if you like Midland radios, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future ones. Um, we're going to be showcasing a lot of Midland radios. I picked up a couple more of those desktop styles. Um, I consider them portable still because those desktop models will run on batteries. Um, for quite a long time, from anywhere from 50 hours to 100 hours, which is nice. Uh, so then gen, they're portable, so if power goes out, they're still working. So I do like that. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. And then three, comment below what you think about the Midland hh 54 vp This is a very popular model. A lot of these uh, Storm Weather Watcher guys like to have these. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's a really neat device. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.